Let's see a question from Laplace transform. We need to find the Laplace transform of e raised to power minus 4t into sine 3t divided by t. So, first of all, we will find the Laplace transform for sine 3t. Then we will use the division by t property. Then we will use the first shift. So, in three steps we will get to the answer. So, first of all, Laplace of sine 3t. Laplace of sine a t is a, which is here 3, divided by s square plus a square. So, 3 square is 9. Now, division by t. So, Laplace of sine 3t divided by t will be integration from s to infinity of whatever we got in the previous step. So, we can take this 3 out and 1 upon s square plus we can write this as 3 square integrate with respect to s. 1 upon x square plus a square it is 1 by a. So, 1 by a here is 3 tan inverse x by a so tan inverse s by 3 and we will do the integration from s to infinity so this will be tan inverse s by 3 from s to infinity so if you will put infinity infinity by 3 is infinity only so tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse if you put s so s by 3 so this is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s by 3 and you know that tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is pi by 2 so we can write this as cot inverse of s by 3 so we got Laplace of sin 3t divided by t using division by t as this. Now finally, first shift. So Laplace of e power minus 4t sin 3t divided by t will give you. Now in first shift what we say if you multiply by e power at Whatever we got in the previous step, replace that s by s minus a. Here, it is e power minus a t. So, we will replace s by s plus a. a here being 4. So, replace s by s plus 4. So, you will get cot inverse s plus 4 divided by 3 as your final answer. So, again, this problem can be easily broken into three parts as first finding Laplace of sin 3t, then division by t property and then finally the first shift theorem to get our things done. So I hope you understood this problem. Let's uh, meet you with some more Laplace transform problems.